सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोना टेल यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट 3D टेक्स्ट ट्रेलर एनिमेशन इनसाइड ऑफ आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स बाय यूजिंग एलिमेंट 3D प्लगइन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो तो बहुत तेज बारिश हो रही है बट मजा आ रहा है इधर बारिश में तो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर ट्यूटोरियल नाउ सो फर्स्टली वी आर इन आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स वी विल क्रिएट अ टेक्स्ट लेयर एंड आई एम राइटिंग माय चैनल नेम एज नमासुरा एंड इंक्रीज इट साइज एंड लाइन इट इन द सेंटर and after aligning it you can change the font here i am taking a so now we will add a solid and name it e3d you can change it color but it will not matter a lot so i am changing it changing it to black now we need to go on effects go on video copilot and click on element now it will not respond for a second and now go on the effect control panel of e3d layer and now and now go in custom layers click on custom text and choose path layer as the text layer and now click on scene setup now a new window will open click on extrude on top and you have created your first 3d text and drag it in the center by using the arrow key now click on the size option in the drop down below and increase it width or depth So it will get the depth look. It will give a depth look to the text. Now go on presets. Click on physical, and add a chrome material to the text. Now go on environment. You can choose any of the environment which you like. So I am, and this one is looking pretty good for the sky background. So we'll go in bevel now. You can check out any bevel, but I am. preferring this we will it looks really great on 3d text trailer animations so now our most of the work is in in element 3d now if we will click on okay and come back to after effects we will get a 3d text now go in group 1 and go in particle look you can increase the size of the text if you want but we will need to change it uh, after some times so as change it now we will go in particle look and click on multi object and enable this multi object now after enabling this you need to open the stopwatch of rotation random multi object i think so and in the starting you can increase it by your choice it should look a pretty distorted version of the text and i am changing it to almost 180 and go almost 5 seconds ahead and again change it to zero Now in displace x y z open the stopwatch of x displace and increase it to almost 1 at the starting and now go at the 5th second and again decrease it to 0 and now your animation is mostly created but if you think this is a pretty slow version of the animation you can drag your last keyframes to the front And now, if you click on your E3 layer and press U, you will find all the stopwatch clips or keyframes, and you can drag them to almost three seconds. Now your animation is smooth. Now select all the uh, keyframes and press F9 to easy erase them. Now select the last keyframes and click on the graph editor. Now select the yellow line here and drag it to the start. On your graph, it look like this. And now you have a smooth animation. Now you can get a sky background from YouTube. And after applying it to the clip, click on Eclipse tool and draw a mask in the center of the clip. And after creating the mask, go on Mask Properties and increase the feather to 600. and now you will get get a really good look and you will also get a vigente or whatever uh, it will give a great look now you can add gaussian blur to the cloud clip to give a great depth and increase the blurriness according to your preferences and now you can add a smoke clip and a fog clip and drag it over to the text layer and change its blending mode to screen now the last step click on the e3d layer go on effect control panel click on render settings and now change the lighting to 360 and your animation is ready now if you really like this video make sure to like comment and don't forget to subscribe take care and bye bye